The Ebonahi State Airport project is no doubt a worthwhile one that would definitely open up the state to both domestic and international investments. The completion of the massive project will both be beneficial for passenger flights and cargo, as well as reduce the influx of people traveling to Lagos to clear their goods and travel outside Nigeria. The world is now connected to Ebony State and the latter being the world's gateway. Within a space of at most seven hours, one can go to faraway places like New Zealand, Eritrea, Estonia, and Latvia, thus ending the risks involved in traveling to Lagos and Abuja for international flights. The airport will boost agricultural returns in the state. Ebony is one of the agrarian states in Nigeria. Rather than rice farmers limiting their market to Nigeria and a few neighboring African countries, their produce can be conveyed in cargoes to American and European markets for business. The resulting financial gains can fund the mechanization of rice farming for increased productivity. Other agricultural products stand to enjoy this exposure as well. The airport can push up employment in Ebony when it becomes functional. Qualified Ebonians could be afforded preference in filling various roles as airport staff. The vacancies will run into hundreds. Commuting passengers to and from the airport would require the services of taxi drivers and tricycle, creating considerable blue-collar jobs. Restaurants, stores, supermarkets, and hotels are likely to spring up nearby to service the airport's human traffic. Just a few days ago, the Ebony state government announced job opportunities in several departments of the airport. This is saying another kudos to the brain behind the establishment and bringing it to near reality. To say that it will create over 20,000 direct and indirect jobs, expose the state to the world, and expose the already built critical infrastructures to effective use is to re-echo the obvious. Ebony State International Airport Works was stated after Governor David Nwiz Umahi enter as a governor of Ebony State. Ever before he started ruling as a governor, he has been making a promise of transforming Ebony State to be one of the best state in Nigeria. Before he was announced and declared as the new governor of Ebony State, he made many promises which includes building of flyovers, building of road and even building of airport which I'm going to give you latest updates of it today. Governor David Nwiz Umahi ever since he started ruling Ebonians, has been trying his best to make Ebonians proud by fulfilling what he promised. He started by building and rebuilding some bad roads in Ebony State. After that he continues his good work and start building flyovers all around Ebony State. Coming to Ebony State, Ever since Ebony State was created they have never built even a single flyover, but Governor David Nwiz Umahi make it happen in Ebony State. Not only that, Governor David Nwiz Umahi continued his good work and start building international airport in Ebony, which nobody has ever dreamed to happen. Ebony State International Airport is one of the biggest and largest international airport in Southeast. It is located at Eza. When he started building the airport it wasn't an easier thing. We are already privy to why Governor David Umahi of Ebony State is generally referred to as talk and do, which means that he keeps to his promises. There is no history of him reneging from his commitments since the inception of his divine mandate administration in 2015, instead, he goes all the way to hit beyond the target. People commonly believe that one can take his words to the bank as it will never bounce like a bad check knowing that his words are his bounds. It's not just cheering news, but a historical feat, as the International Airport, one of the signature projects of the Divine Mandate Administration, will in a few months commence international and domestic flights. The airport terminal building is built to have a capacity of 2,880 passengers in total, with a total area of 35,000 square meters car park which will contain 800 cars at a time, and the apron platform of 134,000 square meters can 12 aircraft of 747 to 400 at a time. The runway of 3,100 meters of 75 meters wide, 
plus the blast pad, and the Risa has a clear zone of 1.4 km from both ends. Proposed taxiways of 5,400 meters in length of 45 meters wide. The control tower, fire station, police station, immigration station, presidential lodge, external fence over 16,000 meter length, and many other facilities are already completed. The airport will open the vistas of investment opportunities and expose the already constructed critical infrastructures which the governor has put in place to the wider world which will bring about their maximum unitization and will in turn boost the economy of the state. Ebony State is a state in the southeast geopolitical zone of Nigeria, bordered to the north and northeast by Benue State, Enugu State to the west, Cross River State to the east and southeast, and Abia State to the southwest. It was one of the six states created in 1996 by the then federal military government of General Sonia Bacha. The state of Ebony was created from parts of both Enugu State and Abia State, which were the Abakaliki Division from Enugu State and the Afikpo Division from Abia State respectively. It has three senatorial zones, the Abakaliki Division make up Ebony North and Ebony Central Senatorial Zones, while the Afikpo, Ohauzara and Ivor Division make up the Ebony South Senatorial Zone. Ebony has 13 local government areas, as well as local development centers created by the state government. Ebony is primarily an agricultural region. It is a leading producer of rice, yam, potatoes, maize, beans, and cassava, and have a notable basket market in Nigeria. Rice is predominantly cultivated in Ikwo, with other regions in the state such as Amasiri, Edda and Azillo making notable contributions. Ebony has several solid mineral resources, including lead, crude oil, and natural gas, but few large-scale commercial mining mines. The state government has, however, given some incentives to investors in the agroallied sector to encourage production, but capacity remains largely underutilized. Ebony is called the salt of the nation, for its huge salt deposit at the Oposi and Uberu salt lakes. This is the end of our program today. See you on Interf Vlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Interf Vlog. Thank you.